What's up, Legacy Builders? I'm Rob. I'm Rishon. And, and this, this is Learn, Learn Hustle, Hustle Grow. Grow. Learn Hustle Grow is about creating a legacy. We're sharing our passions for money, marriage, and travel with other legacy builders like you. you. Do you have the mindset and money habits to build wealth? Wealth requires ownership. The U.S. tax system was designed to benefit landholders and business owners. Let's talk about how you can build better money habits as you learn, hustle, and grow in 2020. First of all, legacy builders, we have to have goals. Mm. What are your goals for 2020? Do you want to start a business? Do you want to advance in your career? You want to just make more money? I know I do. Yes. So yeah, as a realtor, so this year is my first time being a realtor full time. Uh, and I know I want to sell a certain amount of houses. I know I want to make a certain amount of money so I can uh, go on a certain amount of vacations, right? <laughs> and advance, learn, hustle, grow as the 2020 year goes by, right? I would definitely <laughs> say uh, when it comes to <laughs> goals, making more money is certainly on the list. Uh, for us, we are more focused now on earning a income currently versus building assets. We've gone through the assets building phase and we're happy with where we are. We know that we'll continue to grow, but we have to earn an income today. And uh, we didn't pick the easiest careers to do that. <laughs> As a realtor and a travel agent, there's lots of competition out there. So we have to create a plan for our biz, for our individual businesses, as well as for our shared business, uh, as far as Learn Hustle Grow is concerned. And we look forward to sharing more of that with you as we move forward in our journey as entrepreneurs. As a matter of fact, we're going to talk a little bit about um, building a business later on in this video, and we're looking forward to also sharing stories from other entre entrepreneurs with you guys in future videos. Yes. Before we go any further, subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell. You don't want to miss any future videos. The next step is to know your why. Mm -hmm. Legacy builders, when you are focusing on big picture dreams and goals, whether it's advancing your career to that executive level, it might be starting your own business or simply making more money, mm -hmm. you are going to run into roadblocks. Yes. It is inevitable that whenever you set your mind to do something, there is going to be something else that comes in and makes it difficult. That's just part of life. So knowing your why helps you to continue beyond those challenges, right? What is, what is your real reason? What's the root of why you are doing what you want to do? Right. Like many of us, our motivation is our kids, right? Mm -hmm. We wanted to make sure they had a good education, that we were prepared uh, for them to go to college, and not only our kids, but our kids' kids, right? Yeah. We're trying to prepare for them. So once we are, you know, our time has come, then they are taken care of and they can still move forward and not have to see the struggles and stuff that we saw, you know? So uh, we want to make sure we prepare for them. Yeah. Um, and yeah. when we were focused on being debt free, mm -hmm. Our big, one of our big whys was to be able to travel the world. Yes, and here we are. I mean, you know, sooner than later in our 40s, which is fantastic, but we're definitely not done. Uh, but we did get a lot of it out of the way, and I feel fulfilled for now. But, uh, and if, of, of course, we got more whys, but those are the big ones, you know? So, yeah. gotta know your why. A huge tool that has helped us reach our goals um, is always learning. That's where the learn and learn, hustle, grow comes from, by the way. Um, we love our books and our podcasts, yes. and I am constantly feeding my brain uh, with my audiobooks because I really honestly hate to read, but uh, I like the education, right? Yes. So Self education has been yes. huge for us, really powerful. Yep. Um, and I just finished well, a book called. Uh, Think and grow rich. <laughs> I don't know where that came from, but I, I'm always thinking millions. Uh, think and grow rich. And another one called, I'm, I just finished one called You Are a Badass. And I love motivational books. I love money books. 
Uh, and my wife does too. I'm, I'm always like, say, oh my God, you're going to hear this book. And before, yeah. you know, she can get to the next one, I'm, you know, throwing another one on her. Yeah, but, Think and Grow Rich was extremely yeah. powerful because it focused so much on mindset, which is yes. why he referred to millionaire mindset. Yeah, yeah. It talked about the premise of having a definite plan mm -hmm. and being able to persist beyond any kind of roadblocks and move forward to achieve your goals under any circumstances. Yep. Just being so focused on reaching those goals mm -hmm. that there is nothing that can deter you. Yep, no matter yep, where yeah. you come from, what your background is, if you want it bad enough, you can get it. Quick fun fact, in that book they talked about Henry Ford, you know, from Ford Motor Company and said that he had a sixth grade education mm -hmm. and this guy still was the very first guy to create the V8 uh, engine block with all eight cylinders on one block when his engineers and architects or whatever you call them uh, said that it was not possible. But this guy, even with a sixth grade education, became one of the richest people in the world and most powerful at that at his time during his time. So yeah, and yeah, so. that was an extremely inspirational book. And I actually haven't gotten to "You're a Badass" yet, yeah, uh, but he's amazing. blown through that, and yeah. I've heard nothing but great things about it. Yeah, it is. It's an amazing book, and she just talks about how the what you do and your attitude basically opens doors for you. Mm -hmm. You know, if you put yourself around the right people and you uh, hang out in the right groups and crowds and I mean, just find, like we always say, find your tribe. Yeah. And eventually the doors that you want open will become open because people see you have a positive attitude about it. If you're just sitting around whining and saying, oh, it's never gonna happen for me, then it's probably never gonna happen. It's all about how you feel. If you feel like, hey, I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna be rich, I'm gonna be whatever, I'm gonna get this business, be successful, and you surround yourself with the people that you need to be around and the places, you're gonna get there, so. Yeah, and I think one of the things I'd read in a summary about the book was the fact that she focuses on it's never too late. Right. That if you value yourself, who you are, and understand what your individual superpower is, mm -hmm. then you have you still have an opportunity to turn to turn things around yep. and to you know reach your individual level of success. We also both read Cash Flow Quadrant or listened uh, to Cash Flow yeah. Quadrant last year. Yeah, that was good. Now that one really stuck with me. It's a rich dad, poor dad book. Yeah, same guy. Uh, by Robert Kiyosaki, mm -hmm. but it really stuck with me because it talks about the difference between employees, those who are self-employed, mm -hmm. business owners, and investors. Right. And as long as you are on that side of the quadrant of employees and self-employed, you are going to work harder right. for your money. And if you don't mind working harder, and if yeah. you are happy with the job you're doing and you love it, yeah. then there's absolutely no reason to give it up. Right. But if your focus is building wealth mm -hmm. and you want to be on that side of ownership, right. then it requires you to move over to the business owner or the investor side. Yeah. A business owner has people who works for him or her yeah. and that makes sure that those things are done. They delegate while an investor in turn may only give money or financial support to a business right. or buy into a specific company and let the money work for them while they're sleeping. Either way, the business owner and the investor are the two um, most successful individuals, financially speaking. Yep. You have to determine what success is for you, and it may be on that employee and self-employed side, but it's just good to understand those four quadrants and how they impact all of us. Yep, these are great books. So, always be learning. The next steps in improving your money habits in 2020 is hustle. That's right, guys. If you want to make more money, advance mm -hmm. your career, or start a business, there is going to be some hustle yes. involved. So fun. let's talk a little bit about the entrepreneurship side. Yep. I uh, love eBay, for mm. example. It's different these days, I think. Uh, but I remember I used to have an eBay store, and I used to sell shoes on eBay. Mm -hmm. uh, that was a fun hustle. 
unfortunately, my supplier ran out, right? <laughs> <laughs> I, I love when I, uh, that was before he and I met, but I loved hearing that story yeah. because I've always admired somebody who was willing to uh, work hard and do a little bit of extra on the side. Now, there are all kinds of opportunities mm -hmm. out there and you might want to research some things, maybe like Amazon Dropship. Yep. Yep, Amazon shop. Uh, shop yep. What else? That's Virtual right. assistant is mm -hmm. something that's become very popular popular now. Yep. And you can do it remotely. Yep. What's another opportunity for an online uh, business? They say a social media so, social media managers, mm -hmm. right? People are hiring people that love social media yes. to manage their accounts for them. That sounds like a dream job for somebody. Not for me, but it sounds like <laughs> a dream job for somebody out there. So. Yeah, if you love Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter already, there are some small businesses probably in your neighborhood yep. who would love to have a presence and just aren't interested in keeping up with that themselves. Right. That in and of itself can be a business. Yep. So that's a nice good, nice little side hustles in yeah. there. You get started with your research yep. before you begin the hustle, but the information is out there. Indeed. Also, you can market your skills. For example, I was, I was in IT for 19 years and on the side, I used to fix people's computers or help them with their website. Um, also, you have those places like Fiverr and Upwork. Upwork and you can freelance on those sites if you have any of those digital type skills like paper proofreading they have proofreading they have uh um blog writers yeah blog writers they have facebook ad people they'll yep. do a facebook ad for you all kinds of stuff like that so you can market those skill without having to go anywhere or you know have any materials except the stuff you have right at home absolutely and you can charge a pretty nice hourly rate yes. for what you're uh, for what you're up. able to offer yep some of them are charging like a hundred bucks an hour for those things so you can make some bank the key is that after you've done your research that you take action that mm -hmm. you actually do something yes that's why we are suggesting uh side hustles yeah. and opportunities like fiverr and upwork right do something take action and you will feel as though you're making progress Another thing you can do in order to start to advance your opportunities, make connections. Indeed. Guys, there are a number of conferences out there. There are conferences Tons. for just about <laughs> everything. We shared previously, maybe on our Instagram, if not here on the YouTube channel, that we attended a conference called FinCon. Yes, we love FinCon. And it's about entrepreneurs and people that love uh money nerds as they say yeah uh we all get together and we just learn mix from and, each yep, other and mingle and figure out hey if you want to learn something if you want to you know make connections with these people on so we can cross promote or whatever it's a it's a great place to go yeah. uh we run into some of our favorite podcasters yes. and bloggers there yeah. and it's actually where we where we were inspired to begin right. this youtube channel yep. we'd initially started with our web presence alone but thought mm -hmm. it would be a good idea to be able to convey our message mm -hmm. in the form of video and we would never have done that <laughs> if, if we had not attended at that at least conference. not so soon yeah it definitely yeah. pushes you forward when you're around people like that it just energizes mm -hmm. you and it makes you want to do better like it made us want to do better yeah and here we are right and if you can't attend a conference look for an industry specific organization mm -hmm. or event they usually have meetings um, in most of the major cities yep. so for example rob was in it there's an association for it professionals uh, as a salesperson i there was an organization for salespeople. they even bring it down to a cultural level mm. cultural level where there was a black salesperson's organization so look for those opportunities to connect with other people who are interested in the same things you're interested in and can help you go further yep there are meetups in every city for anything so even if there aren't you can create a meetup yes. and I guarantee you people will be there if you advertise it or whatever you can get a crowd of people and just uh, you know brainstorm right another way to improve your money habits in the year 2020 is investing yes. so we're gonna talk about two types of investing real estate and stock market which are our favorites of course and um, for the real estate side, there's a few things you want to think about before 2020 gets here. For example, your, are you pre-qualified for your investment property? Do you have the down payment for your investment property? And 
which neighborhood would you like to have investment properties? Yeah, those are all excellent things to consider. Real estate is an exciting opportunity and you want to be prepared for when that ideal property comes up. Yes. And the best way to do that is to do your homework and be ready. Yes, we are always stalking the next investment property. So <laughs> stay ready so you don't have to get ready. Indeed. Now, when it comes to the stock market, we know that there are a lot of people who are intimidated by the idea of investing in stocks. However, this goes along with ownership. Guys, remember, we said earlier, wealth requires ownership. A business, real estate, or the stock market. And that's why we are going over these topics with you in this video. As it pertains to the stock market specifically, you want to do a little bit of research on things like index funds, mm -hmm. ETFs. Then you, want to you actually want to open that trading account. Yes. If you are investing outside of your 401k, that means for something other than retirement, you will need an independent trading account. Mm -hmm. And all of the online brokers offer some form of education. Yep. Some of them have uh, simulators where you can trade fake, you know, set up a fake account and trade stocks and see how they do or ETFs or whatever mutual funds and see how they do over time just to get a feel for it with no money, no real money. So if you, once you get the hang of it, then you can go and you can start investing in real life, right? Yeah. And we have a video called Stock Market 101 mm -hmm. or Investing 101. Go back and take a look at that one if you haven't, just to familiarize yourself with some of the terms. And yes. we also share how we kind of got started in investing in stock. Are you focused on career advancement as you look at ways to increase your money or improve your money habits in 2020? Mm -hmm. If so, you want to make sure you update your LinkedIn profile. Yes. Do people know who you are, what you've accomplished, and what you have to offer when they look you up on LinkedIn? Yep. Are you connected to friends, family, colleagues, and your former coworkers? Mm -hmm. Make those connections. Yes. Next, you want to update your resume. Who knows when an opportunity may arise? Mm -hmm. You don't want to be stuck trying to update your resume Scrambling. at the last minute. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you don't want to do that. Yeah, want to always have that ready to rock and roll. So, yep, get that done now as you prepare for 2020. And last but not least, join an industry organization. We mentioned earlier the importance of making those connections, and that certainly applies as you look at advancing your career too. Yep. Next, credit. You want to have that credit report pulled every year. Annualcreditreport.com. You can get that free from each one of the credit bureaus uh, once a year, all three of them. Yep. Also, for the score, to get that free, there's an app and a website, Credit Karma. You can definitely keep track of your score with no hits to your credit. You know, it's a myth that people say, oh, well, if, you, if I pull my credit score, then it's gonna, you know, drop in score or whatever, it's gonna, you're gonna lose a couple points. But if you use Credit Karma, then you are good to go because they do what they call a uh, soft hits or whatever. And it's, you can constantly check it on your phone with no penalties. Yeah. You definitely wanna make sure you keep track of your credit, even if you don't have any plans of making any major purchases, right. because you just never know when there might be an error yes. or when someone <laughs> has actually committed some form of identity theft and purchased things in your name. Yes. So getting in front of it before the new year gives you time to clean that up before you actually need to make a purchase. Yes. Let's not forget about our day-to-day -day money goals for 2020. Yes. Effective habits on day-to-day -day money management include, but are not limited to, <laughs> tracking your spending and creating yes. a budget. Yes. Guys, whenever we talk about money, those two things are always going to come up. Mm -hmm. There's no way around it. If you are discussing your money goals and you know what you want to accomplish, the next step in making sure you do that is track is tracking your spending and writing everything down so that you can have an effective budget. Yes. And you can use tools like the spreadsheet, mint.com, mm -hmm. you need a budget. How do you say it? You need a yeah. budget, right? You need a budget. Uh, and all those things, they can help you get you on track. Also, if you're a couple, we believe that we always need an allowance. Mm -hmm. If we did not have an allowance, we'd go crazy around here yeah. because 
That way, that keeps the other person out your business, and uh, you can do what you want with your cash. I wouldn't and... say keeps anybody out your business. <laughs> but you can definitely not have to have any discussions about what you spent if it's in your allowance money. So Right, I guess that's true. <laughs> and you definitely can't go without an emergency fund. Mm -hmm. That should be first and foremost, actually, because mm -hmm. when those emergencies come up and you're trying to reach your goals, they always knock you off. You know, you get a flat tire or your refrigerator breaks down or whatever, right? An expensive traffic ticket. Yeah, frozen pipe outside the house. We, we've seen them all. So yeah. um, you definitely want to have that emergency fund so you can keep moving forward, you know. You've and been you're... thinking about it all year in 2019? <laughs> well, now you can get ready to act on it as we yes. move into the new year. Yeah. One more tip is to implement automatic bill pay. Mm. Now, oddly enough, before Rob and I decided to travel the world, we had never done automatic bill pay. You ain't taking my money without me knowing. Well, we actually did <laughs> most of <laughs> when it came to paying our bills was we scheduled the payments mm. to go through our bank. So we didn't pay them as they came up. We scheduled them in advance, but automatic bill pay took things to another level. Mm. We take advantage of credit card points by paying our bills on our credit cards. Right. That happens automatically when the bills are due, and then we only have to worry about paying the credit cards themselves. Mm -hmm. So we have a reduced number of payments that we are interacting with yep. because the transactions are all taking place automatically. Yeah. So that's definitely something to think about yeah. if you, you know, want to streamline your bill pay process mm -hmm. and if you are interested in taking advantage of credit card um, points and, and miles. The next area to improve your money habits for the new year is increasing your savings. Mm. 401k, is this the year you're going to max out? <laughs> Are you going to open that HSA? I tell you, if I would have known what I know now, I would have at least got my match from the time I started working. Mm -hmm. For years, I did not have uh, the match. I just didn't understand the concept. I don't know why. People said it and we talked about it, but... That's just free money you're throwing away. Mm -hmm. I mean, and it helps your, you know, taxable income, right? Yes. So you definitely get, should have the match and work your way up to maxing it out. Mm -hmm. Now, other areas to consider when you are looking at your savings are whatever your specific savings goals might be. Yes. Are you looking at buying a new car? Mm -hmm. Are you interested in buying a new home? Yeah, or upgrading that kitchen. <laughs> Whatever the case, you want to actually identify that savings goal, call it out. Exactly how much do you need? Mm -hmm. And once you've done that, create a savings account. Yep. We create goal-specific savings accounts in order to make sure that we stay on track. Yep. We have five accounts, you know, for everything we want to do. You know, yeah. his, hers, you know, the vacation account whatever other accounts, but we, we, we made sure we had a separate one mm -hmm. and you can see it grow and it's exciting. It, it, it motivates you. Yes, so. it absolutely does. So making sure that you focus on your savings is going to be crucial to improving your money habits in the new year. The last thing we want to speak on about improving your money habits in the year of 2020 is taxes. Yes, sir. We all have to pay the tax man. <sighs> now, one of the things Rob mentioned earlier that one of the things you can do to reduce your taxable income is investing in your 401k. That's yep. pre-tax money. Mm -hmm. But you also want to take advantage of this opportunity to give. Mm -hmm. One of the key principles of our vision and purpose statement for our marriage and our family is to be giving. Always be giving. Yeah. You can deduct donations to your church donations to Goodwill, mm -hmm. Salvation Army, all of your all giving kind of is tax deductible. Yep. Got to keep those receipts. Yes, I was going to say, <laughs> you want to make sure you have evidence in case you ever get audited. And you, you can pick up a receipt from any of the um, public donation facilities right. whenever you do a drop off. In addition to those donations, now you also want to make sure that you are organizing those receipts yep. in preparation for filing your taxes. Mm -hmm. I was going to say a good tip for uh, organizing those receipts. If you have a scanner, mm. scan them and keep them in a folder, yes. digital, a digital copy. So 
That's all I had to say about that. Yeah, <laughs> we meet with a CPA usually around February. That's mm. once we that's when we get all of our receipts back and all of our documents for our investments. But it is incumbent upon me as the person who meets with the CPA to make sure that all of that information has been, you know, filed and in mm. order before I get to him. And that just makes things go so much smoother. Yeah. So don't wait until the last minute. Go ahead and start getting those things in order now. Yep, scan them in. And that way you'll be, you'll feel much more prepared as you enter the new year. Mm -hmm. Did we miss anything? Do you have any tips? Comment below. See, See you in the, the next video. video.